Hi, y'all. One of the best things ever in the world. I got stuff in the mail. I love getting stuff in the mail. I love getting stuff in the mail. Even though I knew it was coming and I wasn't to get at all a surprise. It was stuff that I had just ordered. But I love getting stuff in the mail. This is just the sewing machine stuff I ordered. I haven't put it in the machine yet or tried it. I was just so excited to get stuff in the mail. In my new bobbin case. Woohoo! Yeah, I know. Big deal. Bobbins! Yay! And needles. Ooh. Organ needles. Yeah, I don't know why they're called that, but I'm excited anyway. And since I've been waiting for that stuff to come in, I've been stitching on my thread painting. There. What do you think of that? Let me get it up here. You like it? I'm putting in the shadows around the figure first, and then I'll add highlights, and who knows what I might do if I get carried away. And uh, Uncle Diesel, just like in the thread painting, has been showing up in my dreams in just about that same spot, looking just about the same as that. And when I see him in my dreams, he uh, just looks at me and I can't see his face because he's a glowy, ghostly figure. Go figure. And uh, he raises his arm and he points to the south. So, as I've been walking around the place, down to the gate and back, I've been going off the road and following the tracks and the trails and, I don't know, trying to see what he's looking at, what he's pointing at, where does he want me to go, what does he want me to do. Not that I believe in ghosts, but I do believe that dreams connect with something in our subconscious, unconscious, and something is trying to tell me something. And since the stories of Diesel have come up, that's the form my dreams are taking. There's something south of the Mott, and I want to find out what it is, what it's doing. Why is it haunting my dreams? And then, y'all got the video from yesterday. That was all about Diesel stories. And then the last thing you need to know about today is... The earworm of the day. The earworm of the day is Backfield in Motion. It's a song from the 70s, 60s, 60s, 70s. Funk song. Really cool. And it's been going through my head. And I dare not hum it or sing it for you because I don't want to violate anyone's copyright. Fantastic song. Go listen to it by the Deltones. Go listen to it. It's great. I love y'all. See you tomorrow. Hi y'all. Not the best of Thursdays that ever there was. I put my new bobbin case into the sewing machine. Didn't really make much difference. I'm going to show y'all. Uh, this is the blue is the top thread and the tan color is the bobbin thread. Um, these two are where I just threaded it wrong, pay no attention to them. But you can see that the tension is still way, way off. The top thread is pulling through to the bottom. The bobbin thread is too tight even with the new bobbin case in. That kind of discouraged me. I have a friend who, when I ordered the bobbin case, offered to come over and help diagnose the problem with my machine. And I told him, wait until I've tried the bobbin case. So I'm gonna get in touch with him and ask him to come over and look at my, my little tender, delicate flower. See if we can get this thing running, because I'd, I'd like to be sewing again. I promised Robert a night shirt and I want to make one for him and I want to make one for me. Something new to sleep in for the upcoming winter. 
Yeah, that's another thing that's got me down. It's not that it's winter. It's just that the days are getting shorter. I, I need sunlight. Like, I don't like to go outside because it's all outdoorsy out there. But I like the sunshine coming in the windows. It boosts my mood. It helps me to feel better. I haven't made much money on MTurk this week. It's just been one bad day after another. Like, I don't know, just there just aren't hits there. I've been on in the morning, in the afternoon. I've been on in the evening. Um, I couldn't sleep one night, and I was on MTurk from like 3 to 6 a.m., and there just wasn't that much to choose from. I've gotten over a thousand hits at this point, so I'm getting better hits to choose from. It's just been a bad week. So I feel bad that I'm not contributing a whole lot to the, the family pot, but doing what I can. This sewing machine thing and the owls still hooting outside all hours of the day and night. The sewing machine problems got me blue. And the song in my head today is the theme song from the old cartoon show called The Tick. And it's just going over and over and over in my head. And it is a fantastic theme song. The show is pretty darn good too. So go and look for the Ticks theme song on YouTube and listen to it. Maybe find an episode of the Tick to watch online somewhere. It's a great show. Superheroes. Superheroes satirizing superheroes. It's just great. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. Happy Friday. Although I don't know how happy of a Friday it is. It's about 2.30 in the morning. Robert and I were laying in bed and we just, we couldn't sleep because of the owls. Every time one of us would drift off to sleep, the owls would start, hoo 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 on one side of the house and answer, hoo 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 on the other. Now, this sometimes happens in the spring when it's mating season, but this is just not the time of year for them to be doing that. So we're laying in bed, facing each other, and I see Robert drift off real loud, ooh, 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 ooh. and his eyes fly open, and he sees me looking at him, <laughs> and he says, go tell your little owl friends to be quiet so we can sleep. And I'm like, why are they my owl friends? And the look on his face is pure you know why. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I get up out of bed and I walk out on the front porch. It is dead silent out there. I don't hear anything. And I say, Owls? I'm not even kidding you. Ooh. Thought I would pee myself. I said, Owls? Y'all have got to be quiet and let us get some sleep. I don't know what you want, but I am not coming out there right now and doing anything. Let us get some sleep and I'll come talk to you in the morning. Dead silence. And I'm laughing because it's a kind of a ludicrous in situation and I'm, I'm also laughing because it's kind of scary and nervous-like. So, dead silence. I go back inside. We both go to sleep. And Robert's still asleep. I got woken up by dreams again. In my dream, I'm standing in the road, down by the mott, just like usual. I look into the mott and I see Uncle Diesel and he always raises his right arm and points to the south and in my dream I followed him. Well, followed where he was pointing. I was following the owls. They were leading me or hurting me. You know, 
You could lead sheep by walking ahead of them and they'll follow you. Or you herd sheep by walking behind them and pushing them where you want them to go. And that's how I felt like the owls were doing to me in the dream. There was always one ahead of me and there was always two behind. So I'm following the first owl and whenever I get close enough, the first owl takes off and goes a little farther for me to follow. And every time I look behind me, there's two owls in the tree. Or one owl is just landing in the tree. And I follow them up down the road and a little off the road. And the first owl stops, lands in her tree. And I see a man kneeling between the three trees dressed like the ghost of Uncle Diesel the way he was dressed in the one photo that Robert has showed me of him light colored shirt, khaki pants and big hat and he's kneeling there and in my dream I know that I'm dreaming in my dream I'm thinking there's Uncle Diesel and I I wonder what he's kneeling down there for. And then just as he picks up his head to look at me, I get really scared and I make myself wake up. I don't know what else to do. So I made myself wake up from the dream and I've been sitting up ever since. I, I'm just not sleepy yet. I drew a picture of what I saw in the dream and I'll show it to you. I, I drew it with chalk on some light brown material because the figure in my dream was white and ghostly. But you can see that he's kind of squatting down. There's his back. Um, right there is his right arm and uh, his left arm is on his left knee and I don't know what he's doing with his hands down here in my dream he was between three trees there's one of them and one of them and there's the other one and uh, I'm kind of looking over his shoulder he's like three quarters turned away from me That, that was the image of my dream and I, I've drawn it, put some stitches on it. I'm hoping to get giving the ghost of Uncle Diesel the attention that he wants. He'll go away and leave me alone. Not that I believe in ghosts. I really, I don't know. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, this weekend I gotta go outside and see what those owls are doing. I love y'all. I miss you so much. This dream was so disturbing I don't even have an earworm to report. But I love y'all, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Oh. Love, Spike.